and it's discharging out of your mouth. Yes. That's Glory right. to God. That she defiled the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? And it came to pass through the lightness of Glory her whoredom. God, through the lightness. He making a comparison. That's right. Through the lightness of a whoredom. That she defiled the land. She defiled the land. And committed adultery. Committed adultery. With stones and with, with stocks. With stones and stocks. And yet for all this. For all this. The treacherous sister Judah hath not turned unto me with a whole heart. Go back to Galatia. Back in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 8. I want to take this. this, this we working on the difficulty that's of right. living holy. That's right. That's right. It's that difficulty. That's right. Of living holy. Amen. Because everything out there is pulling on you. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. So when anybody said, it's easy living holy, don't pay them no mind at all. At all. No, that's deceiving you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Easy living holy? Easy. Hmm. The most difficult thing to do is to walk with God. Amen. More easy to go to hell. Oh, yes. Listen. Back in Galatians 5 and verse 19. All right. Now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these. All right, you back there. Give me some more juice. Amen. The works of the flesh of your temple are manifest which are these. What is it? Adultery. All right, we got adultery. Fornication. All it. Hmm. Now let's get the introduction, what you read earlier, yes. to fornication. That's right. That's right. Fornication committed by the unmarried. Yeah. And it is not just committed between flesh. That's right. First, I want to show you the introduction of fornication. In the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. Says what? For the devising of idols. The devising of idols. Was the beginning of spiritual fornication. The planning Amen. of idols. Was the beginning. Was the beginning. Of spiritual fornication. The setting up of imagery. That's right. What was the image that was set up? It wasn't stone. No. It wasn't wood. No. It was spirit. That's right. That's right. Or the image that was set up, or the image that was first wished Worship. outside of God was Lucifer. That's right. That's right. When the third of the angels yeah. took sides with Lucifer to fight against God, yes. seed was spilt in heaven. That's right. In the form of words. That's right. And you can hear the seed. When it dropped from his mouth. Yeah. In the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 14 and verse 13. He said what? Thou hast said in thine heart. Thou hast said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I. I. Personalizing it. That's right. Letting you know who's the fornicator here. Mm, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Bible letting you know who is the fornicator. That's right. Go ahead. I. For thou hast said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend. Into heaven, I will exalt, I will my, throne exalt my throne above the stars of God, above the other angels. I will stand upon the mount of the congregation, sit upon the mount of the congregation, the sides of the north. the sides of the north. I will, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, above the heights of the clouds. I will, I will be like the Most High. Mm. I will. Now, Amen. the other angels, the third, mm -hmm. that believed it and was tricked. That was the idol or the spiritual fornication that took place. That's right. Because they believed the seed. That's right. That spilt from the mouth of the devil. That's right. They believed it enough until war broke out in heaven. That's right. Now, you have earthly fornication. Mm -hmm. This is why the Bible says to avoid it. Avoid it. <laughs> That's right. I remember years ago in the basement. <laughs> Years ago in the basement, you know, and Amen. wind was so hype and reading the scriptures. You know, when you're hype, you see what's not there. That's right. Amen. You know, one scripture says, abstain. 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 Right. Wind was so hyped and reading it. He didn't say abstain. No. He said, attain, attain. fornication. <laughs> You know what that means? Amen. Go get it. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Attain. Attain it. I looked at him. 
I said, what did you say? <laughs> he said, I said, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that was a message that had put a whole lot of folk oh, yeah. in the spirit. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Hands to be waving everywhere. <laughs> Somebody go off with a tongue. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Listen at this now. First Thessalonians chapter 4, we'll start at verse 2. Says what? For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. Ye know what commandments, what instructions, what orders, what demands. We gave you by the Lord we Jesus. We gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God. Says, Wait a minute. Who will is it? This is the will of God. It ain't everybody else will. No. This is the will of God. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. That ye should abstain. That ye should. Oh, you read it right this time. I read it right this time, Pastor. I read it right. Amen. When he read it the first time and messed it up, he wasn't married. <laughs> he wasn't married. You didn't think about that, did you? That's why he said, go get it. That's the devil in him. <laughs> He ain't read it wrong since he's been married. <laughs> Glory <laughs> to God. Listen at this. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. Yeah. For this is the will of God. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. That ye should abstain. That ye should abstain. From fornication. From fornication. Amen. Now. <laughs> some say, oh, it's easy not to fornicate. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. You can't speak for everybody. That's true. That's true. Because everybody's fleshy level of experience yeah. differ. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. It's easy for someone to stand back and criticize another person. Man, you can't stop. Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's some, there's a fauna that was a fornicating addict. You know, you can be addicted to addict addict. fornication. That's right. Well, yes, you can. Oh, yes. You can be addicted to sex worse than a person is addicted to drugs. That's right. That's right. And only God can break that addiction. Oh, yeah. Only God. And ain't no need for no sister or brother to come along and say, well, look, I, I, I know what it is. You know, I, I was a runner. Hmm. And I stopped first night. That's your business. That's right. Because you stopped the first night, did you stop in every way? In every... Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I stopped physically. Did you stop mentally? Yeah. Did you stop spiritually? Yeah. Did you stop subconsciously? Mm. Did you stop with your eyes? Amen. Did you stop with the intent of the heart? That's right. You see, I love to get everything. That's right. That's right. Do you still think about your past and say woulda, coulda, shoulda? <laughs> Amen. Am I right? Amen. That's right. Order in the church. Amen. So different people have different levels oh, yes. of experiences. Oh, yes. So for some, the intensity of their struggle is greater than another. That's right. You got some people was raised up in a church atmosphere. Yeah. Homegrown. Mm -hmm. Versus a person that was out there while on the street. A person that been out there while on the street. Their physical and mental and emotional experiences is greater than someone that just been sitting around at home. That's right. That's right. But it is because if that homebody boy or girl don't give in to the discipline yeah. they can become more experienced and run out there yeah. than the one that been out there that's true that's true I don't care how much Holy Ghost you got you better not spiritually over exert yourself. That's right. Now, Daniel went into the lion den, but I don't advise you to just go. No. 
You know, Paul said, I became all things to all men. Oh, man. He was an apostle. That's right. I didn't mean for you to run around and say, well, I'm going to become all things to all men. <laughs> you men, I can't handle it. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. One man walked by one brother. Brother, look. Ain't no big deal to him. Keep going. Yeah. Another brother, he just spin around. Yeah. Spin around and whistle. That's right. Ooh, mm, ah, God, God, good Lord. You have to think he on his knees having prayer. Amen. Amen. That's right. Some sister the same way. Same way. Man walked by. Mm, he looked nice. Keep moving. Another sister. Am I right? I say. Amen. She got a whole rhythm in her head. Uh, yeah, all right. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 34 and verse 10. Being sheltered. Yeah. This is why we deal with every subject in church. Yes. We don't just preach Jesus and him crucified. We preach the reality of life. That's right. Or we take God when the apostle was thrown in jail and the angels set them free. They were instructed to tell the apostles, go in the temple, in the temple. and tell them all the words this life. of this life. This life. Amen. I don't want you to come here and think holiness is like the Boy Scouts. <laughs> no way. You just walk around and give literature grinning. That's right. This is a tough walk, brother. Yes, it is. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 34, we're at verse 10. What is it? He that has no experience. Wait a minute. Hmm. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 34 and verse 10. He that has no experience. No experience. No with little. Hmm. That's right. Amen. Do you see how plain this is? That's right. That's right. And you find them that know little got a lot of talk. Amen. If you know little, you're not in no position to give advice. That's right. Your experience is minimum. Yeah. There's some women got experience their husband don't know nothing about. He couldn't even handle it if she told him. That's true. He, 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 he couldn't handle it. He, handle he may it. run down the street yelling, hollering. Amen. He'll put his head in a hole like an ostrich. <laughs> and there's some experience that maybe that husband got. She can't handle it. That's right. That's right. You find some say, oh, well, we can talk about anything and everything. Ha, ha, ha. Well, if that was so, why are you always arguing when the conversation come up? That's true. That's right. You know, if you talked about your past experience, mm -hmm. what you've done in the past, why keep bringing it up? Yeah. Let the past stay back there. That's right. And stop bringing your past to live it in the present. That's right. And if you know you was not a righteous person in the past, yeah. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Then don't be so quick to bring up the dirt of another person's past. That's right. As if your past is just as clean. That's right. You can't say, well, I didn't do as much. Did you do any? Yes, then that's enough. That's enough. How much did Adam do to get put out the garden? One. How much? One. Amen. All it takes is one thing to send you to hell. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Now in Ecclesiastes 34, we'll start at verse 9. Oh, this is good. Amen. What is it? A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. Let me explain that. That's right. Traveler don't mean, you know, that he's just going from different parts of the world. No. A man that hath traveled just simply mean a man that's experienced. Right. He what? Knoweth many things. He know a whole lot. Oh, yes. He can score you on a lot. That's right. It'll be wise for you to listen. That's right. He can score you. Mm -hmm. You know, most folk is more eager to listen to a fool. Amen. Than they are a wise person. That's right. That's why you have more fools 
than wise people. That's right. Listen. A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. Then what? And he that has much experience. He that have much experience. Will declare wisdom. He will declare wisdom. He that has no experience. He that don't have no experience. Knoweth little. He know little. But he that hath traveled. He that have traveled. Is full of prudence. Full of proof. When I traveled, when I traveled, I saw many things. Glory to God. Amen. That's good. That is good. Oh yeah. When I traveled, I saw many things. I saw a whole lot. And I understand more than I can express. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. When you traveled, when you get some experience under your belt, I saw many things. Amen. Then you know how to express. That's right. You know what you're capable to say, what you can't say. That's right. But you have to get some experience under your belt. Amen. That's right. You gotta travel a while. Travel. That's right. In other words, you got to live a while. That's right. Days shall speak. Yeah. But a multitude of years shall teach wisdom. That's right. But that the spirit in man. Yeah. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them the understanding. You better go back to the book of Galatia. I only got the first two things there. That's right. We're still working on the difficulty. Dif that's right. Living holy. I hope you can get this. Amen. I know some of you planned on shouting tonight, but uh, you should have got it in before I got up. That's right. Thank God, because you never know what the Holy Ghost is going to bring. No, no. Amen. And this is the type of message where your feet ain't going to jump too often. That's right. You may pat your feet in a while and shake your leg or shake your head and most time are you gonna hear is mm, mm, mm. <laughs> listen at this back in Galatians 5 and verse 19 what is it? now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these uh -huh. adultery what else? fornication what else? uncleanness what uncleanness yes, Amen. Amen. now how many areas mm. of our temple yes, can fulfill the uncleanliness of a person uncleanness Look at so many parts of the body Lord. that can fulfill uncleanliness. uncleanness. Every part of our body That's right. can manifest That's right. uncleanliness. That's right. Starting with the head. Yeah. Glory to God. Because the word of God says the whole hey. head is sick. Is sick. sick. The whole head is messed up. That's right. Whole head is out of place. Ah, sinful nation. Listen at this. In Isaiah chapter 1 and at verse 4. Ah, <laughs> ah sinful, sinful nation. A people laden with a iniquity. People that's loaded with sin. A seed of evildoers. What? A seed of evildoers. A seed. That mean a bunch of evildoers that continue to multiply. <laughs> That's right. They sprout, they sprout, they sprout, they sprout. A seed of evildoers. A children that are corruptors. Children that are corruptors. Hold it. Mm. Before you become a corruptor, you first must be corrupt. That's right. A corruptor is one that corrupts somebody else. That's right. That's right. So one is corrupt and they share their corrupt ways with another. And then they are corrupt like the other. That's right. Mm -hmm. They have forsaken the Lord. Wait a minute. Why are they so corrupt? Children are, that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. Anyone that leave God, you in a mess. Oh, yes. You that are watching me now, many of you left God. That's right. That's why you're cussing at this program now. That's right. <laughs> That's Got right. your middle finger up at it. Yeah. Got your six pack of beer. That's right. Sharing your dirty old hotel room with your no good boyfriend. That's right. Children that are corruptors. You are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. You left God. They, That's why you're in that false church. That's right. You left God because your bishop promised you a cheap title. That's right. Promising you to be a little old cheap deacon. <laughs> a half pine elder. Amen. A court apostle. <laughs> and a half gallon bishop. That's right. And a one ounce deacon. Amen. One ounce. <laughs> huh? They have forsaken Lord, the Lord. Thank God you left God. 
They have provoked the Holy One of Israel they into provoked, anger. Listen, I'd rather make people angry. Oh, yeah. Because people getting angry at me don't mean nothing to me. No. But God being angry with me will make me lose sleep. That's right. If, if people get angry with me, man, I turn over and snore. <laughs> Amen. But if God get angry with oh. me, my God, man, I'm in trouble. That's right. What is it? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Yeah. They are gone away backward. What? They are gone away backward. All right, back. Backsliders. That's, that's right. Cigarette suckers now. Amen. Vapors now. Yeah. Pipe suckers now. That's right. Club dancers now. Mm -hmm. Pole dancers now. Mm -hmm. Bishops no longer preach the word of God for truth. Now they just patronize the folk for money. That's right. That's right. They did what? They are going away backward. What direction? Backward. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Sound <laughs> like that child say what? <laughs> That's right. Gone backward. Backward. And go and take God. If you look at religion at large, the whole world went go backward. Ahead. That's right. If you got a mind to go forward, be prepared to fight. Fight. Them that already claim they're going forward. Oh, yes. They have gone away. Backward. backward. They have gone away. They have gone away backward. Backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? Now, God wants to know, mm -hmm. why do you want to be punished again? That's right. Uh -huh. You will revolt more and more. You're going to revolt, and that's what they're doing. Oh, when yeah. they hear the truth of the gospel, they revolt, they rebel more and more. The whole head is sick. Amen. Whole. Wait a minute, Williams. The whole head. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Amen. How much of the pulpit? The whole head is sick. All the bishops. That's right. All the elders. That's right. All the jack leg apostles. Amen. All the fake evangelists. Mm -hmm. All the no good deacons. Yeah. The whole head. The whole head is sick. That means they don't have no oversight. That's right. Something have corrupt the mind. That's right. They keep it from thinking the thoughts of God. That's right. So now the church is not being led by scripture. Mm -hmm. It's being led by Bishop's opinion. Amen. Amen. I don't care about nobody opinion. No, you now, don't. how much plainer can I make it? <laughs> when right. I say nobody, I mean nobody. Nobody. I don't give two cents about nobody's opinion. That's right. Touching the scriptures. That's right. When it comes to the scriptures, don't ever give me your opinion. Amen. Never. <laughs> I got men all over social media arguing with me, fighting with me, calling me a cult leader because I won't take their opinion. My Lord. Nobody on the earth opinion mean anything to me. That's right. Touching the scriptures. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. But God. That's right. That's right. I respect. God's opinion. Amen. I bow to God's opinion. Yeah. I will lean only, only to God's opinion. That's right. When you come after God and don't agree with him, mm. I'm like an icicle. Oh, yes. When there's a hundred below zero. <laughs> That's right. I don't drip. I don't move. That's right. I don't budge. Go That's right. God. That's right. I stay one trillion percent. Wonderful. With scripture. Amen. I won't move to get a member. No, you won't. I won't move to keep a member. That's right. If you don't like what we preach, that's your problem. That's right. It'll never be my problem. No, never. You can offer me the world. Wonderful, wonderful. Nobody can offer me what haven't already been offered. That's right. I've been offered millions. Oh, yes. If I detour the scriptures, I turned it down. That's right. I've been offered... All type of luxury cars. If I own a luxury car, I work and buy one. Mm -hmm. But offering me one just to sell out on the Bible, like a cheap $2 hoe, that's not me. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And some, some woman uh, laid me out over the internet and said he'd do all that talk, but I heard he's worth $1.5 million. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, Pastor. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Another man got upset with me and said, yeah, I heard he's worth eight million dollars. <laughs> they upped the price. Up to, amen. I'm going up in value, John. <laughs> and I had someone ask me, Pastor Jennings, what are you worth? Man, I'm priceless. You priceless. can't put a price on me. Wonderful. You going to put a price on me? I'm a priceless human being. That's right. What I got to give you is more valuable than anything in the world. That's right. 
can't put no, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. You can't put no cheap figure on me. No, no. A billion, that's a cheap figure on me. Amen. A trillion, that's a cheap figure on me. Wonderful. Holy book says we have this treasure. That's right. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. Vessels. And earthly vessels. Earthly vessels. Glory to God that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Not of us. You going to put some cheap number on me? My Lord. I'm priceless, priceless. and got sense enough to know it. That's right. That's it. I want to say that sound arrogant. I don't care. <laughs> Amen. I come back and still say, yeah. I'm a priceless minister. Wonderful. Wonderful. The type of preacher that God made me is hard to find. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes. And I know this. That's right. Hard to find. Oh, yes. A preacher that won't steal from you mm. will preach the truth to you regardless of how you feel. Amen. Don't believe in church favoritism. That's right. We'll never put my family in front of God in nothing. Amen. Won't lean to my wife, won't lean to my children, yeah. won't lean to my sons or daughter, that's won't wonderful. lean to my mama. That's, that's wonderful. And I always love my mama. <laughs> Amen. But I ain't leaning to my mama. No, no. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. The Bible says you're bought with the price. With the price. But that price was a priceless death. That's right. You can't set a value in numbers mm. on the death of Jesus the Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. I've been offered all kind of dollars. Wonderful. God have made us a builder. Oh, yes. Men have came and offered me their churches, their entire organizations. Mm -hmm. If I would just compromise, I told them no. No. No, me? No. Oh, no. Supposed to meet a preacher this weekend. Got five churches. Mm -hmm. Came from under T.D. Jakes. <laughs> from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Reached out to me. Thank God. And said he had it out with Jakes over 20, 25 years ago. Over the homosexual question. Mm -hmm. He said he had women preachers. And everything. Mm -hmm. He said, Pastor Jennings, after listening to you for a long period of time. He said, I set all my women preachers down. He said, me and my entire organization want to go down in water mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah. Amen. He said, I've never, never saw nobody who can just explain the Bible. I hear that a lot. Yeah. You got to give God hallelujah, credit for that. That's right. God has given me a a biblical know-how. That's right. To split the atoms of the scriptures and show you the molecules. Amen. Of the wisdom of God. Yeah. It was given to me. Oh, yes. Many of you right in and want to know what Bible college I went to. That's right. I never stepped foot in the Bible college since I've been born. That's right. That's wonderful. I got the best teacher. Amen. And God is my teacher. Amen. And the knowledge of God make me contradict the sayings of men. That's right. If men don't talk that Bible talk, mm -hmm. we're going to contradict you. Oh, yes. If men don't come the Bible way, mm -hmm. we're going to contradict you. That's right. Who would say God? That's what right. did he say? The whole head is sick. Whole head. Whole head is sick. So they sin with the head, sin with the mind. That's right. Sin with the eyes, sin yes. with the hand. That's right. Sin with the feet. Yeah. Sin with the whole body. Whole body. So the whole body need healing. That's right. Is there a bomb in Gilead? In Gilead. Is there a physician there? That's right. The whole body, the church is now yeah. sick. 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 Viruses have crept into the churches in a form of teaching. From the sole of the foot. What? From the sole of the foot. Listen at this. Now in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 6. From the sole of the foot. From the sole of the foot. Even unto the head. Even to the head. There is no soundness in it. No soundness. No soundness. And holiness, you got to be sound. That's right. What do you mean? Stable, That's firm, right. steadfast, yeah. unmovable, oh, yeah. uncompromising. Amen. 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 I remember I was in Cambridge, Maryland. Mm -hmm. 
preacher knew me before I, before I was even Pastor Jennings. Mm -hmm. He knew me when I was in false church. <clears throat> preacher offered me his churches. Mm -hmm. I said, what's the catch, Bishop? <laughs> he wanted me to change my stand on divorce and remarry. <laughs> I said, Bishop, you insult my intelligence. That's right. The only thing you want to swap my belief for is a, a, a four buildings. Mm. Not that. Mm. I said, not here, Bishop. No way. You see, most young men would have jumped at it oh. and almost tap danced. They would have moved so fast. <laughs> That's right. The souls of people is more valuable than materialism. That's right. All right, let's sing. Amen. Amen. So I've been offered movements, churches, millions of dollars. My Lord, my Lord. Private planes. Mm. Private boats. My Lord, my Lord. Someone, someone say, you've been, yeah, I've been offered all that. <laughs> but to me, those things are nothing. Yeah. In comparison with what God have offered me. That's right. Now, if you offer me something that can challenge, <laughs> or should I say beat, mm -hmm. eternal life with God. If you can offer me something that's better than that, better than that, then I consider you. <laughs> that's right. I consider it, then, Evan. That's right. Because if you can outbeat God, I'm going to take you under consideration. Oh yeah. But that means I'm stuck. That's right. So ain't nobody coming along can outbeat God. No. This is what I mean by when you walk with God. The Bible says Ahab sold so himself. Sold himself. This epidemic yeah. of selling yourself, yeah. selling out on God, yeah. turning your back on him, yeah. committing treason, That's have right. happened and it's far spreading, worse than cancer. That's right. It's an epidemic from pulpit down. The whole head is sick. How much of it? The whole head is sick. From pulpit down, churches are falling apart now. Oh, yeah. Used to not believe in divorce, now they go after it. That's right. Don't believe in living together, not married. Now they have it. Church yeah. is flying rainbow flags. Oh, yes. Many of you writing me say, why don't you get on national television? They don't want me. No, they don't want you. No. We went to TBN. No. And told them it is no Trinity. <laughs> Amen. We went to Trinity Broadcasting Network and told them Trinity is a lie. That's right. They said I was too militant. Amen. We went to BET. Mm -hmm. They said I was too radical. My Lord. We went to the Word Network. Mm. They said I was too strict. My Lord. We went to the Star Channel. <laughs> they Lord. said I was something other than godly. <laughs> <laughs> Why? All I preach is what man refers. Refuse to preach. That's right. And that is the word of God. That's right. Pure, Pure. raw, unapologetic, mm. and don't care if you don't like it. That's right. You see, I'm one man. If I tell you I don't care if you don't like it, I mean it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Go back to Galatians. Let's finish out back how difficult it is. Back in Galatians 5 and verse 19. Listen at this. Now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these. Uh -huh. Adultery. What? Fornication. What uncleanness. What lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is extreme, extreme. lust. That's right. Extreme. You become an addict to a particular lust. Yeah. You're extremely lustful for whatever that thing is. That's right. It's a long lingering addiction. Yeah. Don't claim your deliverance or something. Listen, you can't claim deliverance over something you're struggling with. No. Deliverance means deliverance. That's right. Struggling means struggling. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give me the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Quickly, let me explain this scripture that come to mind. Mm -hmm. He was wounded for our transgression. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. It was a bruise for our iniquity. Isaiah chapter 53, we'll start at verse 4. I want to split this to pieces and give you some good knowledge here. Amen. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen good. Isaiah 53, we'll start at verse 4. All right. Surely he has borne our griefs. Y'all there. Talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. He what? He has borne our griefs. He, has he haven't even got here yet in the flesh. No. He has borne our griefs. And carried our sorrows. Carried. 
Our pain. Yet we did esteem him stricken. We esteemed him stricken, and he wasn't stricken yet. No. Uh -huh. Smitten of God and afflicted. Smitten of God and afflicted. Talk about what will be, but was speaking as if it happened. That's right. Uh -huh. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Wait a minute. How did God make the prophet say it? He was wounded. Was. Was. It didn't even happen yet. That's right. That's right. Spoke in the past tense. And the was didn't happen yet. That's right. Didn't happen yet because he wasn't born. That's right. Uh -huh. But he was wounded he for was. our transgressions. Yeah, glory to was, God. Was he was wounded. wounded. Wounded for our transgressions. Prophesying. Mm. What would be. That's right. Mm -hmm. He was bruised. He was bruised. For our iniquities. Didn't happen yet. That's right. Prophesying mm -hmm. the predestination mm. of the suffering of the Son of Man. The chastisement of our peace. The chastisement of our peace. Was upon him. But he wasn't here for it to be on him yet. <laughs> That's right. Prophesying. That's right. And what should be laid upon him. My Lord. Uh -huh. And with the stripes. With the stripes. We are healed. We are healed. But he wasn't beaten yet. Mm. That's something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. With the stripes. With the stripes, we are we here. Are. We are. We here. are. We are oh, here. God, when that was said, he ain't had no stripes. That's right. Because he wasn't, he wasn't even born. That's right. He wasn't even begotten. Mm. And you can't put no stripes on the spirit. No. The spirit can't be beaten. That's right. You can't <laughs> beat the spirit. No. So he had to put on flesh. Hallelujah. And then the flesh was beaten. And to fulfill that. That's right. Now the Bible said with the stripes. We are healed. We are healed. We that are doesn't healed. mean for you to claim your healing. Make that plain. That's Because right. when that was spoken, we wasn't healed. That's right. We were still sick from the pain of sin. That's right. Why stripes wasn't given. That's right. Wonderful. Mm. So you can't claim it and say, with the stripes, we are, we are healed. healed. So that means I'm healed already. No, it don't. No. Because if it means you're healed already, then why call for the elders of, of the, the church? church? That's right. Go ahead. Give me the book of James. Amen. Quickly, son. Yeah. That's wonderful. Let's take this apart. Yes. You can't claim that scripture said, by a strength, we, we are healed. We are so here. that mean, claim your healing. No, it don't. In the book of James, chapter 5 and verse 14. No, it don't. Amen. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. Come on back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. If it mean you're healed already, oh, yeah. that would contradict James. James chapter 5 and verse 14. That's what? Is any sick among you? Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And you what? And let them pray over him. And what? Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. If any what? If there is any sick among you. But yet what the eyes are saying. And with his stripes we are healed. <laughs> That's something. Now. Let's right. break down what it means. What it means. Stripes. Stripes. And healing. Right. Mm. Stripes. Stripes. And healing. Mm -hmm. The being of the Son of God. Right. He was wounded. Wounded for our transgression. For our transgression. He was bruised. He was bruised. For our iniquity. For our iniquity. The chastisement the of our chastisement peace. The chastisement of our peace. Was upon him. Was on him. And with his strength. With the strength. We are healed. When this was spoken, he didn't even walk us. That's right. No, he didn't. He didn't walk So the beating of the Son of Man. Yeah. Represent the beating mm -hmm. that will take place upon our flesh. That's right. His healing of us. The word healing have a larger meaning than what we look at healing. That's right. Healing also means delivered. Delivered. <laughs> See, we look at healing narrowly. Yeah. Like a sore just... All of a sudden got healed. Yeah. But it said with his stripes. We are healed. There's all time kind of sickness. All kind of sickness. Mental sickness, spiritual sickness, emotional sickness. That's right. Physical sickness. That's right. 
With the stripes, with the stripes we are healed. We are delivered. We are healed. He didn't tell me to claim no. my deliverance. No. But his suffering guaranteed yeah. my deliverance. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Not claim it. Wonderful. But what he went through in our behalf. That's right. Tells me if I look to him. That's right. Go, hallelujah. 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 If I. That's right. Look to him. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go, oh, take off. If I look to him. That's right. That's right. Then what he went through. Yeah. I can go through. That's right. Jesus said, can you drink yes. of the cup oh. that I drank yes. of? Can you be baptized yeah. with the baptism that I baptized with? That's right. That's what Jesus is talking. That's right. Jesus is telling us That's right. what I went through, yeah. you can go through it. Yes. How I stood, yeah. you can say. That's right. He told us about those greater works then these shall, shall you do, do. Shall you do? because I go back to the father that's right he was wounded can you drink of the cup mm. that I drink of, I drink of. can you be baptized yeah. with the baptism that I was baptized with hold it Jesus wasn't only baptized in water not only was he baptized with the Holy Ghost but he was baptized mm into suffering that's right when you're baptized you simply mean you're taken down and covered yeah he said he was acquainted, acquainted with, with grief that's right a man of sorrows yes. he was that's engulfed true. in suffering that's right just like the spirit brought him through it the spirit can bring the church through it wonderful are you seeing amen wonderful Hallelujah. He was wounded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear what he said? But he was wounded. He was wounded. For our transgressions. For our transgressions. He was bruised. The Bible have never taught us to touch and claim. and claim nothing. No. No, never did. We ain't claiming nothing. No. How in the world are you gonna claim healing and you struggling with it? That's right. Either you are healed or you're not. That's right. Either you are free or you're in bondage. In bondage. That's right. Either God sets you free yeah. or you're still fighting to come out of it. That's right. There is no middle. No. With the stripes. With the stripes, we are stripes, healed. We are. We are healed. So the question is, how are we healed? Yeah. How? Oh yes.